it's now confirmed, Windows 10 is becoming a thing of the past. On October 14, 2025, Microsoft will end support for both Home and Pro versions of Windows 10. Although the system has served well for over 10 years and is considered by many the best Windows version, after that date, it's best not to keep it on your computers. Even those that you only use from time to time. The system will keep running and won't vanish from our drive, but something more important will be lost. It's protection. According to the Stackwatch service, in 2024 alone, 525 new vulnerabilities were discovered in Windows 10, and in the first half of 2025, another 381. These are not minor glitches that we can just ignore. We're discussing vulnerabilities that let someone control the system, steal data, or remotely infect the computer with malware. So what's the plan? The natural successor seems to be Windows 11. The problem is that for years, every major annual update of 11 has been a real lottery. For some users, the Wi-Fi or printer stops working, while for others, the system can encrypt the entire drive irreversibly, which of course means losing all their data. However, it's not always that bad. Updates usually only cause minor issues, such as performance drops in games, lags, or occasional blue screens. Oh, this Windows 11. And that's still an optimistic scenario because to even experience all these problems, you first have to install Windows 11, and that requires a trusted platform module 2.0 module which computers older than 6 or 7 years don't have. You can work around it, but then you'll have to manually reinstall the system each year since automatic updates won't work on this hardware. So we're up against a wall. On one hand, there's the insecure Windows that absolutely no one should be using anymore, and on the other, the unstable and problematic Windows 11. A hopeless situation, right? Fortunately, there's a third nearly hidden path that solves these problems. I'm discussing the best version of Windows ever made, which many of you may not have heard of. Windows Enterprise long-term servicing channel is so stable it's used in computed tomography scanners, x-ray machines, production machines, ATMs, self-service terminals, and information technology infrastructure servers. Government institutions and the military also use it. You may wonder if something this good can be legally installed on a home PC. Well, yes, but since this system is free of ads, doesn't force unwanted apps on you and doesn't spy on your every click like the home and pro versions do, Microsoft has no interest in showing it to you. Long-term servicing channel lacks unnecessary features, making it lighter and faster than consumer editions, especially on older hardware. It doesn't track you for advertising purposes, and most importantly, you install it once and forget about problems for years. Interested? If so, leave a like on this video right now and share it with your friends. That's a signal to the algorithm that it's worth sharing. Now, after the intro, let's get down to business. Long-term servicing channel is a special edition of the system designed for devices that require maximum stability and long-term support. It rarely changes features. You could call it an armored Windows. It's minimalist, secure, and stripped of many unnecessary extras like Cortana, Microsoft Store, Xbox, OneNote, Candy Crush Saga, TikTok, and Spotify. Microsoft Teams isn't pre-installed here either. And even if you decide to use the Edge browser, you won't see any ads in it, which in the Home and Pro versions aggressively push various products or serve clickbait headlines. This results in major disk space savings, fewer background processes, and a tidier start menu. It's a system that's simply meant to work continuously and stably without interfering with your work or entertainment. It's an excellent solution for users tired of constant updates. With long-term servicing channel install once and enjoy peace of mind. Everything stays configured exactly the way you want it. To maintain 100% stability, no new features or system changes are added. Of course, security patches are provided, but without changes in appearance or features, the system boots faster, uses less RAM, and takes up less disk space. It's not without reason that many call it the best version of Windows. However, what is an advantage for some may be a disadvantage for others. The Home and Pro versions receive big new updates every year that add features and interface improvements. However, because they often cause problems, you won't find them in long-term servicing channel. Here, Stability and speed matter, not flashy features or unnecessary extras. Windows long-term servicing channel doesn't have the Microsoft Store, which for some people, including me in this case, can be a drawback. I have a few purchased apps there that I use regularly. 
The Microsoft Store is another weak point in the Home and Pro versions because it further slows down the computer and can be a security vulnerability. It's no surprise it's missing in the long-term servicing channel version. But if it's something you use, at the end of the video I'll show you how to add it. Don't worry, it's super easy. Let me show you how to install Windows 11 Enterprise Long-Term Servicing Channel on your home computers. In the description find the link to download the system image. Scroll down for the Polish version and download it. In the next step, download the portable version of the Rufus program. I've also added the link to this site in the description. A window will appear. Insert a USB flash drive with at least 8 gigabytes into the port. When you do this, a new device appears at the top. Make sure that the name matches the drive you want to use as a bootable device for the system installation. And I warn you that all data on it will be erased. In the image field, select the one you just downloaded, assuming it finished downloading. The default partition scheme is set to globally unique identifier partition table, but it only works with computers that have it. Unified Extensible Firmware Interface, a newer basic input-output system version, appeared in computers around 2010. If you have a computer that's at least 15 years old, from the basic input-output system era, then choose Master Boot Record here. I'm choosing Globally Unique Identifier Partition Table and clicking Start. If your computer is newer, but not new enough to have a trusted platform module 2.0 module, then leave the first option selected. The second one, however, is mandatory for almost everyone. Windows Long-Term Servicing Channel is a corporate system, and as such, it does not allow signing in with a personal account like Gmail, Outlook, or WP, GOSEPL, review the next options, and choose based on your preferences. Now, the final warning appears, stating that the data on the selected drive will be deleted and the process will begin. Once the bootable drive with the system has been created, click Close, and now all that's left is to install the new, better Windows on your computer. The process is simple, and since many of you have done it before, I'll allow myself to shorten it significantly to just the essential elements. For newcomers, I've included a link to my previous material in the description. In under 20 minutes, it guides you step-by-step -step through system installation, explaining disk partitioning in detail. So, for everyone for whom this is new, I invite you to watch the more detailed instructions from the link. Here, I'll just explain the difference between home, pro, and long-term servicing channel versions. The previously selected option in Rufus to create a local account should allow you to avoid having an account on the Azure server. But if for some reason it fails, an alternative way is to disconnect the computer from the internet and run the installer again. The third way to bypass the need to log into the corporate network is to enter a simple command in the installer. Press the Shift and F10 keys. In the black window, type the following command. After pressing the Enter key, the computer should restart, and instead of the corporate login window, we will see a prompt to connect to a network. Here, we select the option I don't have internet, and this will allow us to create a local user account. And now, since the installation went smoothly, we can enjoy a beautiful, fast, and as you can see, completely clean and smoothly running system as much as we want. Well, almost as much as we want, because it's still not activated. Of course, I won't reveal anything here, but after a few days, an annoying and stressful message about the need for activation will appear. In that case, click Start Now and type the word Activation, then open the settings. Windows 11. Enterprise Long-Term Servicing Channel screams in red that the system is inactive and redirects us to contact our organization's support staff. Due to the fact that this version of Windows is not intended for the consumer market, you can't just buy it in retail. Only corporations, governments, or educational institutions can do that. Luckily, the GVG Mall Store helps. Users trust it and can buy license keys, including for the long-term servicing channel version. Both the description and pinned comment include a direct link to the Windows 11 2024 long-term servicing channel version we've already installed. This is the latest 24H2 release. There isn't a newer Home or Pro version yet. All right. Let me show you how to get a key to activate your newly installed system. At the time of making this video, the key costs 74 zlotys and 19 grossi. That's really cheap because a key for the pro version, which is slower, more cluttered and full of tracking elements, costs 121 zlotys. Why is the price like that? Well, not many people know about the existence of the long-term servicing channel version, and that's why, even though for most users it would actually be a better version, it doesn't have as much demand. So we click Buy Now, log in or create a new account on the store's website. But before you hit the checkout button, hold on for a moment. There's a promo code field here. 
enter TMHD in it and after applying it, the price will be reduced by 30%. From 74 zlotis, it drops to just under 52 zlotis. Since I helped you save 22 zlotis, I have one big favor to ask. If this material is helpful for you and you feel that it solves a real problem, not only for older computers but also for newer ones where you just want to have a working, lightweight and fully legal system, then please leave a thumbs up and write any comment and if you can, share this video further. That will strongly signal to the YouTube algorithm that this content is worth showing to others. Consider how many people in Poland use older, less powerful computers daily. Staying on Windows 10 or even worse, on an even older system is extremely dangerous today. If you help share this, those people can switch to Windows 11 long-term servicing channel. And that really changes a lot. Help me protect the computers of hundreds of thousands of poles from being thrown away. Manufacturers as well as Microsoft itself would prefer that each of you buy a new computer, but why? Since, as you can see, this can be avoided. Alright, but let's get back to the store. After making the payment, we go to our profile and select the option My Purchased Orders. As you can see, I myself have bought quite a few keys here already. We click the See Keys button and there it is. We select the key, copy it and in the activation window we click the Change button. We paste the newly purchased key into this field and move on. Now we confirm the activation and after a few seconds of verification we will get a window confirming that the system has been activated. Everything works just fine. The key has been verified by Microsoft servers and now we can fully enjoy the best version of Windows, which, in fact, very few of our friends have even heard of. What if, knock on wood, the key fails? Don't worry, there's a live chat icon in the page's bottom right corner. Click on it and briefly write in English what the issue is, immediately pasting your order number. The consultant will probably ask you for a screenshot showing the activation error. This is standard procedure. The problem is usually resolved immediately, most often by sending you a new, fully working key. I'll also show you how to install the Microsoft Store if needed. In the Start menu, type Power. The PowerShell application should appear. Run it as an administrator. Type the command WSReset1 here. Next, open your browser and paste the address, which I'll also leave in the description. It leads to the App Installer, which you also need to install. After doing this, you will have the Microsoft Store installed. You also need to remember that although the long-term servicing channel version's lifecycle is longer compared to consumer versions like Home or Pro, it also has its end. Support for Windows 11 long-term servicing channel, 2024 at least on PCs, officially ends on October 9th, 2029. Once this material is published, you get over four years of peace of mind. What happens after that? Well, we'll see. But if you want to stick with the long-term servicing channel version, then until that time, a newer version should be released, and while it may need manual reinstallation, it's better to do this every five years with a cheaper key than annually like with the Home and Pro versions. We're talking about computers without trusted platform module 2.0 that want the latest updates. And now, when the new system is already on your computer, maybe you'll watch something light and entertaining. For example, my trip through Asia, you can see it's getting tougher in Europe as the standard of living declines each year. That's why I decided to buy a luxury apartment in Asia on the 42nd floor with a swimming pool, gym, basketball court and other entertainment. Unfortunately, everything is getting more expensive on the old continent while even a minimum Polish salary allows for comfortable living over there. With the average national salary, it's already super luxurious. In this series, I discuss cultural differences, the economy, food costs, utilities and real estate. With remote work, living in expensive places no longer makes sense. If a luxury apartment can cost you less than in Europe, it's cleaner and safer there than in European countries, plus it's beautiful and there's no depressing winter. I invite you to watch the whole series.